So what I'm going to do right now is um, demonstrate basic operation of the end point cylinder machine as developed by Nick Berg. Um, of course, the first thing I got to do is grab the cylinder, or carefully pick up the cylinder, and slide it on the mandrel. Um, so I'll slide it on there gently, make sure it's on there. So uh, Nick uh, spent time on the tape of the mandrel, experimented a lot, and came up with a really good solution. Very rarely needs to be shimmed. So this is actually quite a nice fit. Um, so what we're going to do first is set the beginning and the end points of the grooves on the cylinder. So I'm going to need to move a little bit left. And to set it, I hit go to begin. It says set on the display here, and it's a uh, preset there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and try to set the end. Um, it looks like right about there. So what I'm going to do right now is check my set points really quick. I'll start the spinning. So I'm actually going to move it a little bit to the left for the set point because it cut off the end. That's pretty good. I'm going to move it a little bit more to the left still. Let's try this. Ah, that's really good. I really like that spot. Let's go back to the beginning here real fast and make sure the set point's good there too. Let's go ahead and drop that. I want to move that a little bit farther to the right. Um, make sure I have some lead in on the content there. Let's try that spot. Okay, I just set that. Let's drop it. Perfect. So we have the begin point and the end point set. Um, one thing you might be able to see right now is there's a fair amount of up and down on the cylinder. Um, it'll run out, and so. Nick came up with a really uh, wonderful solution um, and had help from some others developing some of the, the hardware parts here and there. And um, it's a laser guided adjustment of this mandrel. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the spin right here. And the way it works is this, this holds it in place. It's very convenient. Um, you go to uh, the dots on it and there's a black dot and sort of a silver dot and you get there. You just say, well, I just hit mandrel set. Uh, rotate it to the black line, grab your trusty tool here, and go in here and then you want to adjust this, oops sorry, to the mandrel set again, then you adjust this so that the laser setting on the bottom matches the right setting on the top part. And so you do this for this setting, for the black dot, and then the silver dot, and then you go out to the far left, do the same thing, you go back to the right, and do it one more time. Um, that's what Nick has found works best and based on my experience so far uh, he's very right. Um, so what we'll do now is we're going to focus in on this as I adjust the laser so you can see what it looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and show how to adjust the mandrel for uh, playback. So we have a nice, um, consistent um, radial rotation of the cylinder, um, which the cylinders can be out around. So um, it's good to have a mandrel that's adjustable. The laser um, process, which I'll show you, um, as developed by Nick Berg um, with his cylinder player, um, works quite well. So I want to play a little bit first um, before it's adjusted so you can hear the audio quality. So you can hear the speed and stability, especially when it gets some music, uh, musical content. Um, which can be a major problem with playback, playing back cylinders. 
So what we're going to do now is uh, adjust the mound rule to uh, compensate for that runout. So what we do is there uh, is a mandrel set button. So we get the mandrel, we put up a little lock here, um, we hit mandrel set, um, and I rotate the mandrel 180 degrees, and then hit mandrel set, and it's really far out right now, um, partially for demonstration purposes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is adjust this so that the laser setting matches the right setting up above it. Okay, so I did that one, so I'm going to go back and do the other adjustment on the inside part of the mandrel. So I just rotate it 180 degrees, I'm going to hit mandrel set, it's uh, pretty far out. Excellent. So that looks good. So now we're going to go to the end and adjust the end part of the cylinder um, in a similar manner. So I'm going to rotate this so the black dot's displayed, hit manual set, rotate it so the black line is displayed, which, which you can't see. Um, but it's there on the mandrel, I, uh, I um, guarantee. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the outside of the mandrel now so that the laser reading matches the left reading. Okay, so now I'm going to set the the silverish dot and silver line. So I'll hit mandrel again. Rotate the mandrel 180 degrees. Hit mandrel set. And that looks pretty good. Very sensitive, as you can see, which is a good thing. Okay, so we'll go to the beginning, and we go back to the beginning and double check that one, um, and then we can do playback. So I'm going to hit mandrel set, rotate it 180 degrees, hit mandrel set, and you can see it's ah, it's really quite accurate still, uh, conveniently. Um, and I'm going to go to the silver dot, hit mandrel set, rotate it 180 degrees, hit mandrel set. And that looks really good. In this case, I want to double check that other one, just just to, for peace of mind. OK, that looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and release the little retaining thing that holds the mandrel perfectly aligned when we adjust it. Um, ooh, look at that. So it changed a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start a playback again, and you should be able to audibly hear the difference in having the cylinder's uh, radial run out um, compensated for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the spin. See the speed over here. And then I'm going to drop. So and you can hear how much improved um, the musical character is of that without the speed and stability of the run out. I want to thank you for uh, watching this demo and have a good rest of your day.